Did you ever do show and tell in your class? Yeah, I, I think I only did it once, when I was in the fourth grade. You know how my life was around then. I wanted to show my class what helped pass the time and distract me, so I brought a dozen paper cranes I had made. I think I told everyone how badly I wanted to be a bird and fly, embarrassingly enough. Don't be embarrassed. Every kid wants to fly. For me, it was another toy for my dad, a wooden boat. I remember guarding it so carefully in my hands as I walked into class. When I sat down, a group of boys immediately made fun of it. They asked which trash can I found it in, or why an ugly log was my favorite toy. When I got up, I didn't even want to tell them my dad had carved it. I said it was a joke gift my friends had given me. Kids can be so cool. Some of them are. I shouldn't have let them get to me, but it did. It's amazing we bounce back at all. I was different. They made fun of how far away I lived. They called my dad a sourdough. I was a blabbermouth as a kid, telling my dad stories I made up for hours. But after that show and tell, I didn't tell him much anymore. He didn't know exactly what was wrong, but his best guess was that the toys he carved weren't cool enough. He'd 
carved me a tank and tried to tell me what it was like to be in a real tank as a serviceman. I didn't know your dad was in the military. Yeah, in the army. The sad thing is that I'd pretty much forgotten until just now. There's so much I still don't know about him. I'm sorry. He knows how much you love him. You're going to see him again soon and have some closure. I'm sure. putting it. If wood was a canvas, then a carving knife was his paintbrush. Even after working a 50-hour week, even after his hands were more splinters than skin, he would bring home the nicest piece of Alaskan weeping cedar and make me toys. That wooden train was the first toy I can remember, and I loved it. I just knew from a young age I was going to be a lumberjack, like my father. <laughs> <laughs> 